Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Juice of Pod. You know now, the girl with the most is here again. You know, for a while now we've been announcing to you guys of celebrity is coming, celebrity is coming, celebrity is coming. But we are ready to come celebrity. So, I know we brought our celebrity into the other, into our own people. You see all these people at the back of our camera, we fire all of them. But they are disturbing us. But shut. We are blue, finally. If somebody should give me some hallelujah in the back. Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, so um, you guys have um, some of you tried to guess who our celebrity was or is. I w- I don't want to do the honors for him because there's still celebrities now. You cannot give them their own eulogy. Let them do them. Yeah. So, we are our celebrity. Hello, celebrity introduce yourself. Hey, <laughs> why shall you shy? I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, my name is Justin Obomobasi Benedict, popularly known as Justin Ben. So as you can see, it's not that I carry name from Oshodi and the other one from <laughs> Ochota. You're still my name. Um, uh, I'm an actor. Uh, should I say I am an entertainer? An actor okay. and more. Hmm, it's an overflow. Just an overflow, please. Yeah, so yes, that's it. Okay. So um well we want to ask some questions. So okay. because you see the way I'm grinning, type of style like this. See if you see celebrity, if you be old celebrity, some of you might not, but we we are we can say Joe days in your heart. I want to celebrate you. So thank you. For uh, coming to our seemingly small podcast, says who? Rephrase. <laughs> big. This is small, uh, but but big engine. Mm-hmm. Our global podcast. That's what. Yeah. So um, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. For it shows a level of humility. You know, you get the things. Uh, thank you for having me. Really, uh, I'll be here. So the first few things, we have some icebreakers that we used to do. Okay. If you're going to um, define yourself as someone that is, um, let's say, blind, are you going to, do you want to try to um, explain what you look like and what you probably sound like? First, you want to make them have a vivid idea of what you look like. How would you do that? Uh, <laughs> I like people doing this for me because... <laughs> You know, you really can't... Okay. So, if I'm to describe myself to um, someone who's blind, yeah. uh, I'd say... Uh, he's tall. He's fair. He's painting pictures. Uh, he has glowing eyes. Bright smile. Uh, his voice will make you... Mm, okay, it gives you the old oh uh-huh. feel. Uh, okay, um, what is graphic? What do I describe? Okay, yes, it's tall. Uh, what again? What again? What again? Full of life. Full of life. Um, very energetic, um, jovial. Um, it's a fine boy. We love Jesus. Oh yeah. Well, let me play that yeah, song. I yeah. love you. <laughs> so, uh, I think yes. Let's just put full stop there. Full stop okay. there. So imagine, yeah, you made a very good description of yourself. So if you would summarize your personality, what you do, your entire existence is so like I know three words can say it all. Okay, maybe a full five or I don't know. In three words, what would you? Um, okay. Three words. Um, number the, one. Number one, I'm a lover. Okay. That's broad. Um, two, I'll say tenacious. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, though. 
Uh, it's not one word now. Okay. Just one more word. One more word. Energetic. Energetic. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we have said hope. Oh, handsome. Yeah. Because it's the obvious one. And I know that's the reason why. Because he did not pick it, that's the reason why he could not remember the rest. <laughs> Survivor, please. Before we do, all right, cool. Um, not so, uh, what's it called? Um, are you the type that likes? I'm asking because some of our viewers, you people who come to our DM asking for number, we will not give you one million for form. She said, one million. Come and pay while we pay. <laughs> okay, so if you would say, yeah, are you someone that likes all these bar orders and you love like proper restaurants, view and all those things? You like to eat? because I have a feeling on what he's going to say. So please don't do the norm. Do the unknown. On all in all honesty. In all honesty. Ah, you know when I was coming down here, the driver was talking about Amala, and I remember my favorite sport. At um, Bawala Street, Pedro. Sorry, I just like going to Yalonje. Odoe Yalonje, Sabuka. Say, when there's a sport, there's a sport. Leave all this. I'm, I'm, you know, they are there. But when you find a sport, you know it's a sport. It's so, it's so far. It's so far. So, yes, I'll choose Buka. Over was the progress. Yes, progress. yes. Except when I want to do all those, you know, big money thing. I was saying, eh, you know, you get it. But Listen, me, I right? ah, come on, I'll find, find, just find the spot. You see, it's not too expensive to to be in a relationship. Eh, the most important question. I know, I know you are asking. Don't worry, I'll ask. Um, are you singles or is you married or you need a decision? I'm single. You see? God has blessed you. Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> the mother of honey, finally. Yeah. Finally. You see? You see? <sighs> we are talking about love. Yeah, we said we do. Now it's all love. Check yourself. Don't come with rubbish, though. I mean, Lord, when you come, <laughs> just know that. Come with Okay, so um, thank you. So that's the icebreaker for now. Okay. So now we want to ask you some questions, you know. Uh, it's not always going to be all about us or whatever question we want to ask you, but mostly it's all about you. We want to know you. We want to know before someone can go into acting, especially in Nigeria, or Gerego, it takes a lot of um I would say sorry, because it's a man, it takes a lot of balls to want to go into that kind of field. Which is why I would want to talk to us about it. what was your childhood like? Is it like you have always known that you're gonna be a pastor? You just give us a your childhood. Okay. Um I've always known that entertainment is my line. I I happen to be I was privileged, honestly. So the truth is when I'm doing this backstory. Mm-hmm. I can't leave Jesus out of it. Okay. Yes. So I know you yeah, it's all churchy. Yeah, so honestly, mm-hmm. I can't leave it out of it. Because my mom used to tell me when I was in preparatory class that I'll gather my classmates. I know preparatory is just gross, Crutch, just crutchy. Yeah, you get. Yeah. I gather my classmates and climb the top of the desk. I'm waiting to call them those days now. Yeah, Next, yes. yeah. and we start singing praises, praise and worship wow. songs. My mom told me that. And the teachers, whenever she comes to pick me, they ask, Are you a pastor wife? Is he a pastor son? So my, my dad was never a pastor. And that was childhood. That was like, mm-hmm. so in, um, in 2005, I, my dad, because God bless us. So my dad, uh, I went to 
to it. We used to, we, I grew up a Catholic, yeah, Catholic, um, you know, uh, went in a Catholic church. And my dad took us to uh, a Pentecostal ministry for the first time. And I got that it was on the first day of December 2005. Yeah, crossover, you dig. So we went for that service. And I was like, the church can be like this because we're used to be, you know, grow up. And I think that 2005, I was, I was eight. Yes, I was eight because 2007, I was complete 10. Okay. Yeah. So I think I was eight at the time. Went to church. I was like, okay. I, I would say when I found, let me twist it. When Jesus found me, I found mm-hmm. purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I, I was just opportune to know Christ at that time. And it shaped a lot of things about me. So, being that young, started school because a lot of things in there were a lot of roller coasters. Roller coasters. So, I eventually started primary school again in 2006 because we had to take a break uh, due to life happening. So, 2006. And I started from the same class. I stopped at primary three, started at primary three again. But before the end of that, no. Two weeks into it, my teacher called my mom and was like, if not because you've paid for school, you've paid school fees, you've paid for the books, they're already available, would have done a year. Okay, put in primary four. But notwithstanding, I was in primary school, I finished primary school, the head boy, uh, drama president, the school choir master, uh, school dance uh, choreographer. So I've always known because even in primary school, I remember when we used to have music class, I would compose songs and give it beats in primary school. Amazing. In primary school. That I remember my ICT teacher at the time. He'd be like, he, he would be talking to the, uh, the, the, our music teacher then. And I was like, man, this guy, this something. But I knew, I knew I had something. I just knew that. It's entertainment. When I was young, and what would you want to become? I want to be an entertainer. But mind you, prior to that time, it was the time when I said I want to be a reverend father. I wanted to be a pastor at the time. Yeah. But the time I said I wanted to be a, a doctor. Oh, the time I said I wanted to be, at the time I said I wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. But that uh, shift, the primary school happened, I was done. I mean, primary school, I had parents who were crying out all the time. My mom, I was like, he don't want my picket to progress. Well, my mom don't speak like that, but you know, the African yeah, mother. Because like, people were literally, I mean, literally parents who were crying that this boy is leaving school. Primary school. Oh, wow. And that was because of how much influence yeah, yeah. I had in primary school. And uh, I moved on to secondary, you know, started like year two, started secondary school, years two, finish SS2. 2010 to 2013, year. And when I was done with second junior secondary school, uh, you know, that's when you now choose yeah. which department. And I was like, arts department. I science to tell, I was like, you make good grades in your into science subjects. Like in I'm like, mom, let me know where they go. Yeah. I know where I'm going. And you know, full of follow was much. Yeah. Science, right? You know, see science. You know, man, you see science. You know, all those, all those, you know, all those things. It's actually true. I a lot of follow, follow. Yeah. So I had people that, oh, we, they just put themselves to science. I was the mm-hmm. only one in art class at the time. Wow. At the time, yeah. I attended Bukremi, like on Bukremi College. Yeah, somewhere around Pedro, Shomoli. And I was the only one in art class at the time. And I didn't give two. I didn't give two apps. Nah. I didn't give at all because... I knew what I wanted. That's in the audience. That would be an entertainer. Yes, I was, you know. And the beautiful thing is that I had parents, 100%. My strongest support force force in life is my family. My strongest, my family, coupled with loved ones. Okay. And, you know, second school happened. I was done. In 2000. I finished 2013, and I went to observe Maldina Dance Hall. You did Maldina Dance Hall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, went, mm-hmm. I, finished, I finished when I was 16. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Secondary school was 16. And I was like, let me go and see, because I, I kept up with that. I, 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 I the way I keep I kept up with um Motina Motina Dazzle. Dazzle. Oh, oh my god. And the, there's this so those that know me will be laughing right now because <laughs> there's this there's a particular stuff that happened to me when I was growing up. I was still, I think, in primary school at the time. And it was a birthday party. Let me just spice it before I go back. Yeah. It was a birthday party. And everybody's in the compound. Everybody, mm-hmm. you know, birthday, DJ, do, <laughs> you know, MC <laughs> doing his thing. So weird. And I was down with my siblings. And MC was like, if you know how to dance, you can even use ear. You see, dance. You will just... <laughs> I don't breeze out. So I was out already. Other people came... Long story short, right now, me and again, out of all these songs in that time, <laughs> guess the song you did. Okay. Uh, you yeah, know, that would be better. DJ went to play. For a boy and get competition in finals, it... I'm you looking. Also play song like ah, play that DJ did me something I can never forget. <laughs> and at the time, the only dance I knew was Galala, Makosa. I would even go. It's, not it's just that the short is not. I would have demonstrated the way I did it. But if the camera can part on my leg, ha! Ah, you know, it started. <laughs> and that girl had watched the video of that song. She has scored all the moves. Okay. I so cannot forget her name Simi Sola. I cannot forget Simi. Simi Sola. Ha! <laughs> you get started. You know now, if you watch the video and the hand is going, me, Amy, you say bye. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. When you got to the Shakira, Shakira, she did get, 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 get with her waist. Me, I did. Back, 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 man. What concern me? La, la, la. Oh, my God. I danced this dance. With oh, you'll the be soul laughing. of my heart. The mm-hmm. girl was doing breaking ways, breaking ways. Ah, what? It got to the end. Before MC would say Waka or stay, the way they screamed Waka. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my God. On that very day. You just be traumatized. On that very day, oh I God. told myself, if a lady, if I'm going to ever face a lady in a dance face off. Yeah. Is it that is a draw? Nobody win. Oh, I beat her. Like oh, I that's... mesmerized her. And I took it personal. You took it personal. Really personal. <laughs> Made me I had to start watching videos. I learned how to dance as a girl. So if you face me and oh walk oh, around you're a Did boy. You, now you not be doing all those ke- 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 you By the time you. I start, everywhere, you know, there's this thing you with guys up. whining. Yeah. Mm. You know, this thing? You know, when there's uh, all, all <laughs> girls are gathered and they're doing, oh, okay, okay. and the guy ah. just comes slow wine. Oh, all those days of um, early days flavor, early days, nya, nya. oh, they got nothing on me. By the time I do, hey, your waist. Oh, all the girls will just, they'll just shit one corner. Just one corner. You'll be embarrassed for their life. Because people be like, how can a guy be doing this kind of... Yeah. Uh, Fast forward. So, 2013, I went for... I went to observe Maltino Dance Hall. So, you know, saw how they were doing. Those guys with that dance. I was like, wow. Wow. Prior to this time, I was doing church. In church, I was doing, you know, children, choir, mm-hmm. dance, you know, those activities in church mm-hmm. that kept us going. Yeah. Ah, and I went and saw dance. Wow. Wow. You just the, you just the start. You never stop it. So I observed 2013. I was done with school. I went to observe 2014. I went back. I wanted to complete. Okay. I was 17 at the time. And I wasn't up to the age for the yeah. um, family. Okay. To okay. join, do join the family dance thing yeah. because it was 18. Yeah. So I was like, I'll do age group. Oh, okay. Ah, backstage, I got my tag. I, I stick you, got my tag. I felt, I felt fly. And you know, they're going to see me. Oh, they're going, you know, so for me, I was like, dude, you got something. Let the world see it. Yeah. That was in my head. And I saw a lot of people there. I saw dancers. That was the year I met Big Flo. Big Flo is one of his own big names. 
in the dance industry. And back to him. I told guy. Ah! Taking Jean. Ah, Ogidiga, that was the that was the name. Ogidi, of Ogidi, yeah, Ogidiga. I know Ogidiga. Ben, or Alomo, hell, those days. Ah. Backstage, in my so head, dance in my head, I'm like, innocent dance in my head. I was like, oh, No, what did I find myself to be? How did I get to? But in my head, I come to the consciousness that the highest high, the if there's a realm, if there's a realm, the Holy Spirit will carry you each day. Definitely, no cap, no cap. Yeah. And I was just like, God, you brought me here, do uh-huh. your thing, do your thing. So guys, Jinjari, I any today we go. You know, when they are doing moves, you I'm like, I'm like, just saying, just chill, just chill. So I'm that this kind of guy that go to uh, a dance audition, not looking yeah. like a dancer. Go <laughs> well, will put you from backstage. Yes, I, I don't. I, I go not looking like a dancer. Yeah. To first make you doubt. Mm, then they will lose their guard. Right? Lose your guard. And when you now put for instance, please play song. Switch it up, babe. Yeah, yeah. So it happened, and the old guys went on. Gradually, gradually. All these guys that were taking this thing, they didn't cross what happened. And I saw myself in the semi-final. Wow. It's like, okay. The moment I will never forget at the multi dance hall was um, when they were switching indigenous music. Yeah. And they switched to Nye Kamweno because from um, Shino Peter, so you, yeah. get, 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 you know, the shoulder yeah, guys. Yeah. Then they played Nye Kamweno. Oh, I remember I had white handkerchief. I took my hand. I don't like this. By the time I switched to the waist dance, even, oh, somebody in the audience just stood up. I love you! Me too. I was like, I love you too! Oh, like it was a moment for me. I can never forget. No and yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't make it to the finals was because the girl I was facing came a year before. Ooh, she competed a year before. So the judges her recognized her. Yeah, yeah. Give her a bit of uh, You understand? So give her... So, it was, so when it just... Ah, it was a tight one. They were doing... Oh, that's nice. Uh, you know you came last... So I was like... Oh, take it. Quality, Consi- quality. Consistency. You know, there's this yeah. thing with... You doing something over, over and, and over, over again, again. Yeah. come on. It will make a way for you. Consistency will always make a way. So, why it happened? I just gave her a vow, like, win it. I left. Semi final, come on, it's a big deal. Semi final is a big deal. Hmm. And that was 20, 2014. 2014, uh, my brother calls me because my brother is a professional drummer. Okay. okay. He's a professional drummer, Eddie Ben Ben. That's my elder brother. I have. Uh, I have six siblings, an elder brother and five younger ones. Wow. Yeah, I come from a large family. And yeah, he plays for Mr. GC at the moment. Okay. So at the time, he was still, you know, learning the whole drum rudiment. He was going to churches once in a while. Yeah. So I just used to, because he used to teach in a school, okay. dance. So we used to dance together. Yeah, that before year. he decided to go That drums. year. You know, yes, we used to do it, but it got to a point where it, they needed someone who could teach. Like seven different dances, and there was limited time. So like two weeks. Okay. And I was like, guy, I know I do this with the program. And I'm like, sorry, I get baby. I just cut on. I walk, you always make the copy. There's no reason now. Okay. So uh at the time I was like this bed, but smaller face. And I went to school, I saw kids. I've always loved teaching because in church, I, so I was teaching. teaching. Yeah. Like mm, I love teaching Sunday okay. school. You know, I was like, oh, you come and take this, read this, then dance, songs. Yeah. I'd always love to engage, you know. You know, I had to like, teach children. Like, oh, I love children. I was like, okay. In two weeks, I thought the indigenous dances, yeah. Yoruba, Osa, Ibo, mm-hmm. but Salsa, but, but uh, uh, contemporary, taught yeah. ballet, and hip hop. In two weeks, I mean, and when when this kid, when I saw this kid, how old was I? I was, I was, I think I was uh, seventeen at the time, and I was like, wow. wow. So I think I, I was active. I was active in that space for four years. Okay, then prior, there was this family that I taught the egg bomb. 
now thought they are bro. And so this was, and the mom always was like, I never, there were parents that came and was like, I never believed my, my child could do this. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I was like, that's me, that's me. So that was um, 2014. So in 2015, I decided to, um, so now you see the whole professionalism in, yeah. um, started 2014. Yeah. And yeah, this year, 10 years. And it's a Wow. Amazing. Wow. 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 Man. Yeah. Wow, wow. Clap out for Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Okay, so uh, 2015, um, I, I went for my first professional audition. Okay. It was a commercial. Oh. And I got an update at the time. And someone was like, so, uh, they need someone who looks 16, who is around that, you know, Teenage age. Yeah. I mean, I look myself. At the time, I was 18. But, bro, you got baby face. Go do that thing. Yeah, sure. I was like, okay. Sent pictures. Because at the time, I go and get some pictures. Mm-hmm. Man, you know, I sent pictures. I was like, okay, come tomorrow. The next day, I phone card. Wear my trouser. Wear shirt. Come wear suit. You don't need to look tomorrow. So, it, it was the first time I was going to the ads. Apparently, audition made me know Lagos very well. Like the back of my path, I can say I know Lagos. Wow. Because I was going here, going there for audition. But that was my first professional audition. And when I went, I got there late. And the first person I saw at the gate, I didn't know he was even the cinematographer. Came in, I was like, why are you just coming this time? I was like, please, I don't know how to I need my way out. Like, anyway, just write your name. And I got in a room. <laughs> I saw people. They got sitting ah. back and standing back. Ah. And I know this shirt. I don't look myself again. I, I say, I suit. I say, Dust, hey, are you sure? And I'm like, come on. Can't give up on yourself now. What's your name again? Got in, saw people. I think I, I, I didn't know anybody at the time, just I think a few people. And the lady that was attending came in, gave us slips. It was like script written, but just simple like. Yeah. I was like, when you get in this, what are you going to say? Then I looked at it. I had memorized the lines. It got to my turn because we're going in in pairs. Yeah. Like seven, five to seven people. Mm-hmm. Got in. So ten people. What is shop? They were in a round. You know, this conference mm-hmm. center. Waiting. <laughs> you know me, I want this shot. You reach like that. I got in and I, okay. Then they said, so there was a projector projecting behind us. I was like, just yeah. look at it. I want you to talk about a drink as though it's big. Oh, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. So in my head, secondary school days, man, come on, I'm smooth. <laughs> you know, so I just. Remember those days when you do the run, run, you know, yeah. all the uh, secondary me. school. Yeah, I was you like, okay, just say. So I went back secondary school, and everything played. Mm-hmm. It happened in my head. So I have this strong imaginative sense. Yeah. So everything picture just played in my head. Drink, I said, my babe, one by one. First person did his, next did his, next did his. My turn. I was. So I have always been audition. Mm-hmm. I tag I targeted the white lady in the <laughs> in, in the audience, in not and the judges. Yeah. I still remember her vividly, Michelle Bello. She's the director and in, in, in the industry. I looked straight into her eyes. How I am sometimes when I look back, I'm like, bro, you get my do. Oh, I looked at her straight into the eyes. The lines, I still remember. The way, I'm sure they'll show you a clip. They'll show you a clip of the, um, the commercial after this. Okay. And it was like, she's a new girl in the block. She satisfies my fantasy. Well, it's my pleasure. She's my new girl. I did that. I was like, okay, okay, go back. I went back to the waiting room. He came, the lady came back. If you hear your name, you are in if you don't. 
started calling me. Started calling me. In my head, I was like, Justin, you are there. Justin, you are there. You must be there. You, you. God, what do you mean? 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 And the last, Justin, there. Yeah. Ah, I'm sure you'll be so happy. Oh, my God, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, you know, that kind of thing. I was so excited. At that point, yeah. they ended the whole audition. They told everybody to go home. They've seen what they wanted. Crazy. So there was, a, there was a group of guys, a group of girls, I was among the group of guys. They ended the audition. I remember vividly. So I went back into the company. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, for the lady's side, are uh, you playing the lead? You're playing the lead's friend, blah, 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 blah. Came to the guys. Um, you're playing the lead's friend. You, 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 you. You are the lead. You are on the back. Is somebody on my back? I'm like, no, you, you're the lead. Amazing. Me. Okay. I can't feel it on Saturday. Even if I was not available. You would be available. I said, I'm available. At that time, you know, ah, no, no, no. I'm available. Yes, I am. I was like, okay, um, take off your jacket. I took off my jacket, rolled my sleeve. I knew I had to. You're not that old now, guys. Small boy. You can. You know, I was like, that was the reaction they gave. I was like, okay, Saturday, your agent will get back to you. Uh, And then I got back. Agent was like, oh, he's pushing for this amount. Yeah. When she told me the amount that they are pressing yeah. on, and I'm like, what are you pressing on? Wait. I will do. <laughs> Don't bother. Don't. I will do. I have 30%. You are not. You say mathematics. That means you're, you're getting 70. I'm getting 70, yes. I was like, ah. That amount at the time? At the time? Ah, don't worry. Saturday came. They told me to go trim my hair down because mm-hmm. my used to love her fro. Like yeah. full hair. My I still love it. It's work nice to make the change look. <laughs> my work now, you know. So, went to the saloon with the guy. Break it down. A little bit. Don't take everything out. A little bit. It's all different. Fresh. Very you know, it was a TV. Mm. I got there. We shot it at the um, TBS, Reality oh, Park, okay. Park at the time. I think it was fashion art. It was a big fashion art time, I think, at the time. And me. Uh, go to the makeup. Go to the makeup. Let them touch you up. A costume. Me. Oh, it to be so surreal. Joko, bye. He called me, say, so, 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 you look good for the camera. In me. You're looking good for the camera. Ah, I was like, okay, wake me up. <laughs> and we got to, you know, shoot different takes. And when I was done, I remember Michelle Bello asked, she was like, have you done this before? I said, no, this is my first time. I used to do it in, I do it in church. Mm. Yeah. I said reference. That. I said, see reference to God now. I said, I said, but I do this in church, mm-hmm. you know, drama like, Wow, she removed her hand. You see, man. Call it the high five. It's like, okay. So mm-hmm. ever since that time, if that first could give me that push, mm-hmm. any audition. You're going. Ah, hmm? uh, I, I was going for audition back to back. She's the new girl on the block. I see her. She satisfies my fantasy. I see her. She feels my pleasure. <laughs> She's my new girl. Ah. I met him. It says creamy and fresh. You know, who is this guy? He is my new girl. That's my new girl. <laughs> Children of nowadays, you just know how to play with our minds. In that case, I think I will have my own bottle of it. You go. <laughs> you go. You go. I have my taste. My active days with um, auditions mm-hmm. from 2015 to, let's say, 2017, 
I was. All the first gigs I got on screen. Mm -hmm. My first screen job was yeah, with the commercial, but for TV series, um, series, I think it was uh, industry. I remember doing industry. I remember doing hustle in 2016 at mm -hmm. the time. Uh, and some other, you know, some other gigs. But yeah. it was auditions that yeah. were giving me all these yeah. one one role, two, uh, one one scene, two two scenes. Even if that much was it, I was not. I'm going to show That's myself. Awesome, yeah. I want to prove myself. You know, and mm -hmm. it went on, it went on. 2018 was the turning point. I'll call it the first turning point in 2018. And I know, God bless my parents. God bless my family. These guys, you see audition. No, that's what you yes, five tiger is not at the time when transportation was very, very crazy. Yeah. But at that time, my parents were like, Oh, you have this audition. Take. They were like they are still supportive. Wow. So it was so hot in when it's at this stage, and I had to lose one of them. My dad, yeah. So hot in. Amen, amen. Funny enough, I was at work. I was in a bad time. Filming. Got a call. I was moving, going for a rap party for the show. Mm. When the call came in. First, unconscious, before. Broke. On the side. So, 2018, I remember um, the year started and I was like, oh God, this year again, God, push me, do your thing, you know. I remember 2017, a lot of things happened, school, pushing school, and it felt like the gates of hell was just prevailing, you know, that kind of thing. And I just, 2017, I, I, I told Jam, I ain't doing you again. This Nigeria school is where you have money. Mm -hmm. You go to school, I will make money. Mm. So I just head straight. I was doing, and at the time I worked with um, an NGO, FHI 360, as from a counselor to a documentation clerk. I think I worked with him from 2015 December to 2017 September. And at this time, even going to work, my colleagues were covering up for me. Guys, I appreciate you. Look at me now. I'm not even there yet, but I appreciate you guys so much. To Jane, all of you, you know yourself at FHI 360. Thank you so much. Cover up for me. Go, just go, 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 don't worry. Cover up. Because I could do my work, I will just carry the um the the, the book, the register home mm -hmm. and do it from what they'll send it. Mm -hmm. So 2018, the year started, and I was like, oh, full time. Came and tried to do. January came, nothing happened. February came, nothing happened. February and I had an accident, a domestic accident. You? Yeah. First escaped an accident with my parents. Where the bus was moving uh, Maryland, if you're conversant with Maryland, then, you know, when you're climbing, you're not going under the bridge, mm -hmm. you're climbing. And all of a sudden, a tear leather just stopped in front of a downfall. Downfall, no one gave me a He turned. That turned, look at the bridge. It felt like Jesus took the wheel. I just knew that was because he went all the way and how he maneuvered to come back and stay and stayed on the pedestal lane. Jesus. That was okay. the first. We're going for a mini session mm. at the barracks, the Kedja barracks, in Kedja Cantonment. That same night, I was having a conversation with my friend that, that's in the UK currently. And it wasn't too long. I knew the plate in my hand. Well, it was a few minutes to 12 a.m. Same day, plate in my hand fell. And I knew the next night I was like this. Jesus Christ. The ceiling fan fell. Jesus. It was a motion. It fell. And if you don't look closely, you will know there's a sign there. I did not. I was. I, I was so conscious about myself. So there are a lot of things as Christian when God wants to teach you something mm. that sometimes it's a painful route. Yeah. It's a painful route. Mm -hmm. And when I went, went to clean up, I told her, my sister was seated like right on, um, directly opposite. And I was happy it was not her. It was me. Mm. Ah, my presence was high. 
I turned alone. Because I was like, how? She, if I'm a guy, I'm the one going to marry the person. Mm-hmm. You understand? But she, then, that was what was in my head. I was happy it was me. And I went to the bathroom, washed up, and I was like, give me a mirror. I saw my face. My head, who could call me for work? Who could do this? Who could, who could reason my mother? At the time. And I, it was vivid. I had the voice. It was like, for every, for, it is not about you. It is me that makes, it is my glory that shines on your face and men uh, accept you. Yeah. yeah. And it's not me. It's not mm-hmm. about me. It's not your That's fine true. face. It's not your fine face. That's true. And funny enough, Ubu Abasi means God's glory. Oh. And at the point, I was worried. Yeah, I had the voice. I'm like, ah, man, I'm making it all about me. It's me, it's me. No, I'm like, oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy. It's not me. It's not me. It's you. It's you. Yeah. You know that line um, in Dusio Ye Konsol? It's your grace that makes my face shine bright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll be all the light. Yeah, so you know, so I at that point I was worried. Funny enough, I didn't, I didn't see it. It was a deep cut, it was close to my chin bone. But it was how he healed, I don't know. He healed up. And the next day, I still went to church, I still did my choir duty. I still did my choir duty that same year. March, I think it was March. I got a call from someone who had met when he started with me. Alpha, you go be available. But we need you Saturday. He's supposed to be on Friday. This was March. If this happened, the accident happened in February. Mm-hmm. March. I'm like, yes, I go be available Saturday. The person goes, you know, yeah, when AD, PM, you're always busy mm-hmm. on set. I was like, he didn't reach out to me. I went for a video. Molo, what happened? Went to church. He was in church. Message came in on ID. After tomorrow, uh, where Eleko. Oh, I was like, hey, I go show. I go show. Hmm. I went on set. I got I finished from church. I knew the only thing I did not do is I did not bath. But you know, do a quickie bath. <laughs> Brush. <laughs> I just I didn't have to. They said I didn't have to come with anything. Yeah. I got on set. I got there, it was a Royal Art um, Academy um, job production. Wow. Because that was the first time I met him in my song. And I got there. Uh, okay, here's this the guy playing the younger uh, Saiba Lugo in his character. Me. Funny enough, they actually look alike. The younger version. Without the hair. Yeah, without the hair at the time. And I never met him. That was the last day on set, like for them filming. And that was when I was called. Mm-hmm. I, got, I got on set and I saw everybody. I'm taking the costume, they hit me with this um, Yoruba attire because it was an epic. Yeah. And uh, Scorn King, yeah, that's the title. It's on Roku TV, um, Rock. Rock. Okay. And when I saw it, uh, I got in and they just gave me the script. I read, you know, I read. And when they told me, how much? I say, how much is it for the dress? They say, just for TV. I was like, oh, wow, okay. I think I've missed someone that loves money. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I was like, eh, just one day. Mm-hmm. Now, so in, in my head, I went back to the payment mm-hmm. over a year, over the years. Yeah. What we are talking, calling for one day is what they will pay me for, like, how many days? Like a month mm-hmm. at the time. And what you know, like, okay, okay, no problem. And I, I was. My first sin, the shock with elders, elders, because he was a younger prince. And when I was told, one of the uh, men that played the elder was like, Did this boy they when Sai Balugu play the older? And I was like, uh, They said, No, I said, No, I wasn't. He said, The manari is in the everything, just mm-hmm. sink. What did I do? I got there. I got the expo, Sai Balugu. I grew up watching this. Yeah. I went back in time. Mm-hmm. I was looking, what's that is regular? 
mannerism. What? Yeah. Brought it back. <laughs> Action. <laughs> that was it. But when he said that, I was like, oh, somebody saw it. Mm. So, that one passed. The next one, the following month, the same production house called me back again. And I, okay. Okay. Oh, oh Lord, I see you. The same year. My good friend. Yeah, I know. Amazing man. Tell me what take there. Reached out to me. I was at an audition in GRE Kedja at the time. I remember vividly, I think, the person that was sitting close to me uh, was Mata. Martha, that, um, uh, what's her name? She's on Wura, this Wura show, the one to me, on Wura. Yeah, wow. she was the one that was sitting close to me when he bossed me. And before that time, I'd taken off my hair and the small goatee where I get that year. Hair. So when he said, send me a picture, I sent him pictures of my hair. And I was like, ah, you feel come up here. I just sent him a recent picture. I'd cut my hair because at the time, that when before that he called me, mm -hmm. I played um, a younger character yeah. who suffered, who was suffering autism. Oh, I'm a partial imbecile, so I started taking my hair off and everything. I think that character was um, um, Namdi in uh, When Love Comes. Um, when love call, yeah, when love comes calling, yeah, that. That's uh, the title. Right? Yes, yeah, it was a royal art with um, AIT online um, AIT when production. Love comes comes calling. calling when love comes calling. It was. A, a, a Ghana and Nigerian collab. Okay. Yeah. So that was that one. So I already had my hair cut and everything. Mm -hmm. When they called me, I sent him selfie. I said, okay, okay, okay. Get there. I, I, was, I had no audition at the time. I was like, your feet come. I mean, I was my mom. See, you go here. See how much you did. My mom. She boxed me. She boxed me. Went all the way. Went all the way. And I got there. And apparently, I was not the first person they called for this role. Some wow. people had had played this role, but they just put them out. I remember at the time. And I got there and, okay, I, I remember, that was like uh, the second time I'll, I'll be meeting um, Andy Funke. Because the first time I met her was in industry okay. when she was, because uh, that was our project as well. And second time, I got in the wedding photo shoot for season one at the time. Mm -hmm. She was looking at me, looking at me. I was like, mm. yeah, well, I'm familiar. I'm like, yes, I played Moses Baba in industry 2016. I was like, I'm not so I know your face. I like, just wait, just wait for me downstairs. I'll be coming out. You know, very. Um, it's very amazing. Uh, no, no, no. So that, that was it. Then my friend was the one. He came, picked me, received me uh, when I got to the apartment. And I came back downstairs. As I just slammed down, they just told me you know, normal procedures. Okay. Then one of the ADs came down to you know do the test of can you ask? Yeah. yeah. And I did. Did I was like okay. Yeah. Okay, I remember reading Samson's um, script at the time. But, uh, the lady that was to play my love interest at the time. Yeah. I remember. I think she was still in secondary school at the time. And she played um, my siblings and I. Okay. Was so that the project that the ADs? Yes. Did? Yes. My my love interest in the yeah. story. My siblings and I. It was um, Esther Uzodima played by uh, she played uh, Angela in the story, and she came down, and I saw this young girl at the time, and I was like, okay, apparently her yes, my getting the job depended on a yes. On a yes. Mm. Hey, Kevin, do you like him in my head? You know this thing? You know when they do movies that they now start showing us what is the person head? Yeah. If everybody knows. In my head, yes, yeah, this is open confession. There's not that, that fast. I was like, all you are going to see is see beauty. My, my handsomeness will shock you. In the name of Jesus, there is not you. Yeah. You, will, you will say, yes. And you know now, I just position my face. Easy. Again. I saw someone observing and observing, and the next thing I was like, yes. Uh, in my head, I was like, what do you want to say before? <laughs> what do you want to say before? Oh and yes, that was how I got the role, mm -hmm. Henry, and African Magic, my siblings and I. And 
I, I was a day player on the show. I think I was on with them from, I think from um, June, June there about to December, till December yeah. at the time, because I just appeared in season one. Mm -hmm. And I was to board, the show started airing, I think, 6th uh, August, 2018. Yeah. I remember. And in September, I, I was going for an appointment with a friend of mine, and we, you know, boats now. We ordered the boat, he arrived, and I saw somebody looking at me in my head. I'm like, oh, can I? maybe it's all one of those lucre you get. I saw somebody look at me. He said, your face looks familiar. And I'm like, I'm okay. The then my friend that was close to me was not giving, you know, what you are? I was like, I was like, hey, hey, will up. I was like, I'm an actor now. Henry, my siblings and I. I'm like, mm. okay. I think I had that video somewhere on my Instagram page. It's still down, down, down. 2018. My friend was making the video and I was, mommy, boat driver. Yeah. He record yeah. I was not telling me how his family never um, misses the show. I was not telling me that ah, I've, been, I've been off the show for a while. They should not tell me they are dropping me, you know. It was not giving breakdown and you know his ideas about the story, and I was like, mm. Mm. "Mr. Wow. Benedict's second song, you you re you know me, okay?" So, oh, 2018 was the year when I didn't have to go for auditions, auditions as often, often as I as I used to. Yeah. From 2014, 15 to 17. Okay. It was not referral. Mm. Is it that guy telling me he was comfortable in the It was not referral. And I I felt privileged. Yeah. The fact that people could recognize and see something. You, right? you know, and it was in 2017 I met uh two of my mentors to date. Because, of, yeah, of course, you have all those. But people that spotted me mm -hmm. and were like, see this one? I want to bank on him. Wow. First was Floyd Igbo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is one man I, I hold in very high extent. Mm -hmm. Is, I mean, he spotted me. I remember going for the, my first stage play audition and he was to direct and was one of the judges. I think the title of that play was um, Adesha the Musical at the time. And I did my thing, you know, everybody you can act, act. I said I can do the three. I have a mantra. My mantra is Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's been my mantra over the years. And it did work. It Find your own. Mm. And I did, I th that was where, I m that was the first time I met Floyd Igbo. And during the production, I met William Benson. These two people have, have held my hand through. Mm -hmm. I would say, if I want to, if you ask me who trained you, tell the men that trained you. Mm. These are the men that took their time, trained me, and I will forever be grateful that I met this set of amazing men. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that was the year, you know. Remember doing 2018, I did my second professional stage play. And couples, you know, that was the year referrals, you know. I know this. I remember there's this shoot I did. Um, if, when I did the, when I played autistic, When Love Comes Calling, when I was done, I changed. And I was ready to leave. Then the woman, the woman that played my grandma came in. I was like, is this a Namdi? Everybody was like, yes. It was more like a waiting room. Yeah. I was like, yes. She was like, I thought he was an imbecile. In my head. Wow. I was that believable to my co-actor. At that point, everybody was like, Accolades, accolades. I mean, moment I will never forget. 
Same 2018, I played um, Belgium in the movie Truth. And it was Beauty Stevens that directed at the time. Amazing woman. Look forward to working with her again. And we had Kunle Remy, we had Shafi Bello, we had Anwuri, uh, we had Adora, and, and uh, Belgium, we had Bimbo. Right? Belgium, I played Belgium. The title is Truth. Uh, we had Bimbo, uh, oh, yeah. Ademoye on it. We had Bola Gumola. Uh, we had, you know, the likes Stashed Shafi Bello. We had Shafi Bello on the shoot. I played um, a, a young detective uh, who, who was... Uh, and... My character had more of reactions than lines at the time. And I know when we're almost done with like the final scene where it involves everybody, mm-hmm. I will never forget. That was like the first time I met uh, Auntie Shafi and worked with her. And she just paused, you know, when all those breaks uh, miss mm-hmm. um, shoot, she just paused. She was like, I remember her looking at um, Beauty Stevens and she was like, oh boy, you're good. Oh boy, you're good. good. So, I, you know, there's one thing to have lines and stay in character. Another mm-hmm. thing, not to have lines that you're still in the act. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And this is a, this is a moment I will not forget. Mm-hmm. This is a moment I will never, even when I went on playing stage, doing stage plays and how people felt that that was my real life. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't close to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'll forever be grateful to God for how far the journey has been. It's been, it's been a crazy jolly ride. Wow. It has not been sweet. I've been to an audition where the person that auditioned me told me. After, at the time, I had not had this um, um, speed assimilation. Okay. Um, um, what they call it? Lines, digesting lines, memorizing. I was still learning at the time. And it was like, are you sure you are to be in this industry? Are you sure you'll make it here? He said said, said, said it to me at an audition. And, okay. I felt bad. I felt bad. And I was like, that time passed. Then... That was 2018. Things were going, you know. The wow. industry, jobs started coming, all those doing small gigs here and there. They're moving, recognition. And, and in 2021, I remember before I traveled to Bayesa for a shoot, I remember I had an encounter. Okay. I was, so a lot of people call me script assassin now. They don't know where the, the name came from. Yeah. Okay. So this is me. I've shared it with, my close friends. So this is this is more reason why you should see this. This you should see the juicy podcast. This episode very yeah. important. I'm spilling a lot. So this encounter I shared with my close friends, my family. So uh, uh, for those that know me, you know when I'm doing all these hard shows, yeah. song is blasting or I'm singing and you know vibing and. I was in the corridor ironing at the time when I, when I stayed in Abaniko, at the place where we were staying in Abaniko before we moved. And I, I, had, I had script as I see. I paused. I had to, I think I was even alone that day. So I looked around. I was like, script as I see, BT, I looked alone. And I, I heard the voice again, script as I see. And the voice went on. I could tell, you know, this, you, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, you know when God is speaking, you know when the Spirit of God is speaking. And he said, there will, be, there will be no character you will not be able to play. There will be no script you will not be able to, 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 um, to conquer. Hmm. He said, your, your speed assimilation will increase. It, it, your, it, no, it, your assimilation will become like will become speed. It will be at, like, you will learn, yeah. you will learn lines with ease. Mm. I was, 2021, like, I could remember, this was before I went to the Baeza for a shoot. These words kept echoing and I, I was, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
scriptures as well. So yes, that's what men will know you as. I'm like, okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was just affirming everything he was saying. I went to buy a shoot. And the message the call came in, message was like, okay, buy us away. I went all the way. I got there. And I, there's this particular, uh, I remember when I was on that set, there was this, we had this scene with my colleagues. Yeah. And the, we're shooting in this stuff, you know, campus, um, oh, rooms, yeah. all these rooms. They can be quite stuffy, especially with all oh. the lights on. I remember, yeah. I remember opening the script, mm -hmm. the scene where to shoot. I went on. I glanced. I stepped out. I was like, please, man, the police fresh there. They were running lights. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, Afa, uh, Uncle Jay, because that's what the producer used to call me because he was also one an actor. Oh, yeah, now maybe we run out now. Maybe we show Uncle Justin, yeah. So I went back inside. And we're like, oh, yeah, now maybe we do dry run. I said, dry run. Okay, no, I'll I say no one script. I say, um, no worry, I, I will still. Banter! Pa, 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 pa. And I heard the voice. It came again. I told you. Didn't I tell you? And my co-actor was like, Plus, you just hold these scripts now. You come on, go collect fresh air. Like, how many minutes you come back? Then you just I feel like struggling with my own lines. What am I saying? And I'm like, the voice came back and was like, yeah. I told you. And I was like, Jesus, thank you. I was like, Jesus, thank you. Yeah. And it was at that point I knew that manifestation was already happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was already happening. And yeah. even the first time I used script as a sin, I started off as an Ashta. Oh, okay. Because it was weird. How would I call myself script as a sin? It as a, a script like same. The Spirit of God gave me the hunch to use it, do it, use it. Because me, I'm like, how are people? And when I popped use there, I, I think people were like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. the way they welcomed the name, they received yeah. the name. Like, And funny enough, people, when you see me now, Everybody's script just has script has There are a couple of things I learned from your story while you were talking. And I want you guys to not just be so interested in the fact that, okay, yes, he's a celebrity that is here and you guys just want to work on it. People don't talk about their life stories for you to just hear and smile. It's for you to learn something. Even I am here in the studio, I am learning a lot. Part of the things I learned from when we were talking about is um, acknowledging the power behind what you do. You understand? Yeah, everybody has a spirit that follows them. And for the fact that you acknowledge the fact that it can only be by God, it means, you see, um, you are not giving room to, to the flesh to take glory. Mm -hmm. and, and while you were talking, there was something about um, you mentioning people that supported you. You see, um, in the journey of life, not everybody, not everyone that would journey alone. Funny enough, you will not join you know. It's sure. just that people, time and duration, people might be in your life, might be different. Some people might be forever. Families, loved ones, might be forever. And some might just be short. And they might leave. True. And um, after you said that, I, I learned that you just acknowledge those things. Don't always feel like, yeah, I did it alone. My life, ah, no, I struggled to it alone. You understand? This is very serious. Um, it's very serious. There are so many moral lessons that you mentioned about um, you recognizing that um, you wanted to be something, you wanted to be this. You knowing it and having the support of people. Our parents, I would love for you to just be like the Chinese or the Asians. Mm. Know what your child skills are and just... From a tender age. From a tender age. Don't waste your money. Just... Put that money into it and help them. True. Because if you True. do not help them now, 
You see, whatever you've been doing for years, after a while, it might end. And mm-hmm. they might decide to go back into that True, thing. true. And true. also, when you were talking about the old school um, thing, and when you go jam and all of those things, let me say, it's never too late to do something. Um, the scripture says uh, we should write our plans and make it plain. Mm-hmm. Understand? Um, so that when people as far as we'll be able to see, get, I like the fact that you were able to look at it and say, like, okay, no, this is not, this is not what is, it's not working as I know. Let me move on. And as I move on, I pick up what's it called from, I pick up the pieces of all this. Oh, yes, yeah. Some people are like, oh, if I don't go, to, some people are so, like, root said in what they want to do. Mm-hmm. That they forget that sometimes God takes you through mysterious roads. You get. True, true. End point is you will just be what you want to be, but the journey there hasn't been revealed. Yeah. So he said we see in faces. True. You understand? So I, I love the fact that you understood those faces and how um, intentional you were about that. Um, some of you will look at life and be like, hey, yeah, I want to be this. See, God has given everything to us to be able to prosper. Mm-hmm. He has. True. And has given us the Holy Spirit to whisper his mm-hmm. yearnings, his heart desire to us. But he has given us everything to prosper. That's the reason why the same um, philosophies that you will use and you will prosper. I don't believe I will use it and prosper. Certainly. So, um, I like the fact that you were very consistent. You understood the assignment and you, you actually... Kept at it. Some people, you try this, try this, try this, try that. I'm not saying it's bad. Mm-hmm. Some of you might not find your passion on time. True. Sure. But when you do that, keep keep at it. You heard that he kept on going to for auditions. Mm-hmm. There was a season in, a, in his life that he kept on doing auditions back to back, back to back. You, all night to go and look for a job, you have not done it. You're looking for a remote role. You've not even done on site and you've not done it successfully. Uh. It's true. Before you can, before someone can trust you that you can do their job mm-hmm. off-site, it means you've done it well, well on-site. Well, true, true. Before it could be called. And you, you see, you keep working on yourself. You mm, keep hearing from Personal God, work, true. You keep doing that. And um, if you if you don't do it, you will end up at the back burner. Because you will just not matter. True. Because the people of the world are doing... Times two. Times times three, times hundred. Times hundred. Let me let me just add. So, Butcher, yeah. let me just butcher this point to you. Mm-hmm. So there was a time when I finished secondary school, I didn't mm-hmm. want to stay at home, mm-hmm. even if I didn't have anything. To do. I would oh, go to my be. friend's place. Yeah. I stayed at Obanikura. I would check to the bars, Pedro bar. I would just stay there. When is evening? I will come back. So in one of these days, I met my junior in secondary school. Mm-hmm. I was like, I hope I'm off on how you day. I was like, I'm fine. I'm like, and you know, after pleasant she was like, uh, you see they do fine for up and that, you know, I go to school. Mm. She said that. Oh, and it's only ladies. Why, why, why? She said that to why? me. I, I took it in and I'm like, yeah. Well, I am well with it. Years later, if the jam I wrote for Unio, I passed, I had passed the cut of mark. I went to Positemi. I made good grades at Positemi. If I had gone to uni I would yeah. not be at this point. Yeah. Yes. I'll be in, in Akwaibo, mm-hmm. my state. Yeah. Pursuing yeah. political science. Studying political science. Yeah. I won't be at this point. Mm. Mm. Yes, later, I met the same girl. Oh, oh my God. I met the same girl. What was I? Eh... Be like, nah, no, not be, be like, now nah, you I see for, you be like, I yeah, see one film, another film, like two films, what you do inside? Yes, later. So do you say that, you know, there's this saying that it's results that always cancels insults. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it is, mm-hmm. that, sometimes yeah. don't reply at that time. Just go and do your own work. No, she said, just do your own personal work and yeah. involve yeah. God, your maker. Yeah. The rest, the mm-hmm. results will speak for us. You don't even need they to become talk. evangelists for you. Yes. Because they will start going to you, their friends. Ah, uh, uh, I have one friend though that we're in second together. Come, come, let me show you his movie. That's that's how it is. Now, so for, for uh, um, a lot of you that are watching right now, ah, uh, oh, church is pretty cool. Listen, I'm not a saint. 
Okay? I'm not a saint. I could tell you that I'm like, I didn't sin. But it's the grace of God. Yeah. The truth is, what I keep saying everywhere, even when I host events, because I compare to, I host events, I'm an MC. When it's, I say, know God for yourself. True. True. So, uh, there are a lot of doctrines that, right now. A lot of doctrines that will carry you here, carry you there. Now we will keep you from manifesting. See, know God <laughs> for your, perhaps a personal relationship yeah. with yeah. him. This is not a yastic to say, oh no, I, let, let me continue singing. Like, no, no. Everybody knows their relationship with God yeah. and how they do this thing. You see, one, one of my uh, mirror characters in the Bible is David. Sure. I almost said it. Like, wait, wait. One of my mirror characters in the Bible is yeah. David. David knew his way. He had his way with God. He knew his way with God. Yeah. We it, can even say, this is not heresy. But he's like, he had God's mumu bottle. He's not heresy. Mm-mm, he but he... That's the level. There's a level you you yeah. grow with, with with your personal relationship with God. Yeah, that yeah, there's this cordiality. There's this level of knowing. Mm-hmm. Just especially with um spouse, sure. you get where you go know your uh, yeah, your spouse. Like you feel they tell and waiting they think. Yeah. You know, speaking yeah. about the um, relationship between God and Moses, Moses advised. God, yes. just in case you don't know, it, you know when God was about to say, which kind of people I brought you? I want to, you wanted to what? It's God that say, what would the people say that you brought them out of Egypt to come and to to come and, mm. it does a level you yeah. grow yeah. With, in, in your relationship with God and see exploits will happen. True. True. So it's not a case of ah, is that a plenty of people? If I don't involve these things, see. I will if I don't involve my spiritual life, there is no career mm-hmm. without involving God. True. When it comes to Justin Ben, just know this and no peace. There's no way I will yeah, tell you yeah, about yeah. the roots. I will tell you about how it started. CTICC, that's Christ Sabana International Christian Center. I was a church. Yeah. I was a church where that was my foundation church. So there's no how I will tell you every dance, music, not church, I learn now. Now, church, I learned everything yeah. started from that point. So, everybody and their own way of how they found Christ or whatever. See, the truth yeah. is, everybody get what in that they believe. True, yeah. true. Yeah. The truth is, you know, there's a greater power, there's yeah, a lesser power. Yeah. The choice is yours. True. Yeah. Based on what he actually said about oh, um, you believing. Okay, no this and no peace. Yeah. Um, see, if you don't involve God, there are so many um, what's it called talents. See, the devil does not have an original plan for anything. He looks at the church and copies from the church. Mm. You look at the best talents in the world from, from the church. church. But the devil knows that um, gifts that is not doesn't have the backing of the Holy Spirit for guidance will lose its way. True. Sure. We lose it with. So he banks on the fact that you would not know. He said, My people perish for lack of, lack knowledge. of knowledge. So because he knows you would not have that knowledge that, okay, I have this much gift. Gift is like power. Power without control, you miss it. True. Sure. So, which will bring me back to um, the original thing we um, discussed. See, learn stuff. So, and I'm going to ask you some of the questions, some of the things that you learn. The person with the highest, uh, what's it called? As light, just comment down your um, what's called the lessons you learned from this video. The person with the highest one, don't worry, you have a gift from the GC pod because you can't be disattentive and you know win something. <laughs> you get you have a gift from GC pod, mm-hmm. or you can suggest whatever you want. If you, if we have the money, before you go, I'm looking for Range Rover Sport, you know, after you <laughs> so just. Comment down on what you might want, mm-hmm. or you might still give you what we we have. Or just comment on that. And if you want to probably have a picture day with him, tell us though we can arrange it for you. We can arrange it for you. You understand? But um, which brings me to um, I know there's politics <laughs> because there was a time I had interest in acting as well. Okay. But you see me, I know I'm not patient. If I can change it for my future, I'll like that. 
<laughs> so I wanted to act because I loved, I was also in the, the drama and cultural group when mm-hmm. I was in secondary school. Okay. I was just to myself when I was in school. I didn't want problem. So um, there were times where you would reach out to some people. In fact, even just at that day, when I was working at a real estate firm, there were like hotels close to me where some actors come. But when you see the kind of things they do with the ladies and how they behave, you just don't want to be, especially when you're a lady, you just don't want to act. But I've had one come to me like, oh, yeah, we are acting ill. You can come and join us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, if you people are acting and all your ladies come out looking like this, are you able to act in porn? It's not me I'm saying it like that, but because of the way you guys, are, they, could, they don't condone themselves well. All the guys are either running after the young girls in the mm-hmm. estate and all. How do you cope with the politics in I just want you to summarize it for us. Like, how do you cope personally? Or what, what are your coping mechanisms for the politics in the movie industry? Uh, truth is, there's no sector that there's no politics. True, true. Okay? There's no power. sector that there's no politics. And mm-hmm. personally, um, sometimes when there, there were auditions, I went for at, at, at the time, and I got callbacks, okay? Yeah. And I was hopeful. The next thing was they're already shooting. And the people you tend to see on on the project are people you never saw at the audition. At the audition, yeah. Why would you put out an audition when, when you can... When, Cloud. The auditions I most of the auditions I went for in my early days, I made sure I was like an hour, two hours there. So if an audition was for seven, I don't come off hours for four thirty-five. Yeah. Submit. You hear him. People in the studio, you heard, right? If and, you get there early, you are you are late. And I wanted to be amongst the because I, I I came to understand that there's crowd. I wanted to be like at least. First 50, at some point, first 20, first 10. Yeah. And you get for and the next thing is, they never even audition reach half. They don't say, may everybody go out. I pay transport for more. Right. I, 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 I jump boss, so. Mm, yeah. You know why they beg, uh, hello? 200, 200, yeah. Piling up so I can I wouldn't be stranded. Yeah. So the 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 things with um you already have your cast and you're calling audition. Yes, sir. Okay, no. Is it background extra? State it is background extras. I told them I paid an extra. I was an extra at some point. Mm. Yes, I was an extra. I'd gone from Obani Kuro Estate to to uh, VGC. Mm-hmm. So far. To VGC alone was how much? 4,000 Nera. Extra, extra. In 2016, okay. at the time, in 2016, okay. I was the background extra in Isoken, the popular movie Isoken. Isoken yes. Yeah. White, we wear white and white, we wear filler. Mm-hmm. I was the, giving them, giving them vibe, dance everywhere. I was doing, I was happy to do this thing. Yeah. I was. Mm-hmm. I played an extra, but I kept telling the people that were doing extra. I said a time will come. I'm, no, I'm not doing this. This is just like my a way. Yeah. This is my the corridor. This is the corridor to where I'm going. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I said, I wonder, there are people that have been extras since that time. And, and I still see. They're professional extras. Every, see, everybody and what they want to do. The truth is, know you what you want to do. True. No, I, I said, you know, I've been now. Um, we are the ones doing a background as the main actors. I said, me too. One Quite day, I'll become a main actor. I'll mm. play lead. I mean, sub lead. I will be, now me, they go to attend. Um, sir, what can we, you know, don't worry. As he can, it is time. It's, that's it. Okay. And, uh, yeah. um, Chief Ebenezer Obey said in the song, I'm a sicko. 
See, ah, if you understand, uh, if you understand timing, you will, you will just be doing your in-house work. You don't be running waiting. Yeah. David was doing a shepherd work. Mm -hmm. He was building pedigree, fighting lion, fighting bear. Who knew about that? Nobody. Nobody. But this guy was walking. Mm -hmm. He was leading flocks. Little did he know at a time yeah. he would lead people. Big pastor. Well, sometimes I don't like coming off like this, but it comes with the see, be doing your own work. When the time comes, it will come. Yeah. Should be, prepared. Be, be prepared. I I, I say, um, as this phrase I used to use, uh, uh, opportunity only favors a prepared person. True. Have you heard it? Uh, production people. Opportunity, they say, only, only favors, favors people that are prepared. Don't a be prepared your person. So when the job the job is not coming, are you working? Are you hmm. doing your personal? Okay. Yeah. You see my mirror. You see my mirror. Ah. When I eventually build my house, you people might say what you want to say, but mirror. Everywhere. Mirror because the more you see yourself, you know, there's this Bible. The more I behold Him, there's okay. this thing. Okay. You behold Him, you become. Yeah. Ah. You. When you see your, you will love yourself. It gets to a time when people will say is narcissism, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. When he was there, it's okay. It's fine. I get. It. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's when fine. you say, so you say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You see that it's portion of the you. Bible. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have read it with their head upside down. I mean, they did not bent. read it with their brain. Even, it's not with their brain. It it's starts good. with you. Mm -hmm. I'm a I preacher. I'm a preacher of self love. Ah. Imagine. Yes, I'm it's beautiful. Sure it's great to be selfless. I'm a selfless yeah. person. Oh. But don't be selfish to yourself. Yeah. A lot of people are... This man is in his spirit. A lot of people are... What you will not... Like, you've not bought clothes for yourself. <laughs> you are, you are, you are You're not like, ah, no, no, I, I will get... Get it for yourself. Be fine in that thing. Be, fi be fine in that clothes first. You see, all of you. Eh? There's no problem. See, being selfless is a gift. It's beautiful. Okay, but... See, you can be selfless, but at the same time, don't forget yourself. 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 Because people around you are glittering. You, you are just, don't worry, I'm fine. You, what do you want? Bah. You see, he's already encouraging you guys. Uh, uh, you? Take your see if nobody, even if you don't have a boy, be, take yourself out. Life is not about love, love. Uh, go, record, boy and boy, go boy. out, go out. You are not hungry. Plan jaw. Take yourself if it's the mall or go and see a movie or just go to a park. Yeah. Have fun with your see. Okay. The truth is, the love you don't give yourself, don't expect it. Yeah. Don't expect it. Okay, so there's um something um, we would like to do but while we are prepping for that okay. i would like you to see a snippet of the blood of no game so we'll be right back <laughs> and um <gasps> I know you've enjoyed that snippet. Where is it on? Uh, uh, Iroko. It's on Rock. Yeah, Rock. Iroko rock. TV app. Yeah, Rock. Okay. So please rock rush down there and watch it. You don't want to miss this movie. Then, um, I know I've heard from the world that you have a project with Linda KG. Okay. So can you just give us like just a few minutes? Oh. Okay, so um, it's a dear project to me because um, reading the script alone brought tears to my eyes, wow. and it's a true life story. Okay, it's a true life story, and 
I, mean, I don't want to spill a lot. Just, okay. just know that you the have to keep. Production hasn't started yet. No, no, we're done with it. Post production currently ongoing. Okay. Yeah, post production. Hopefully, by God's grace, this year we'll be seeing it this year. So, just, we have the title. The title is um, the night of June seven. The night. The night of, of seven. No, is it seven June? No, the night of June seven. Okay. Yeah, the night of June 7. Yes, yes. You don't want to miss. Once it comes online, eh, hey, but we you, do it. You don't want It's going to be on streaming platforms. Like, <laughs> streaming platforms. We, we look forward to it. You'll see this sign. You'll say, hey, you get it. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, by God's grace, yeah. Eh, hey, but we do it. Kolo, kolo, wo, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that aside, okay. um, when I mentioned Blood of Video Game, I saw the expression. It was like, the movie did something. So just in summary game. Okay. Some in summary, so Blood of Inugi is a project dear to my heart. I played um Prince Nosa. Prince Nosa Kai made me I fell I fell, I fell in love. <laughs> I fell in love with the character is totally different from who I am in real life. Yeah. And the character brought a lot of nominations. I mean within. And outside the country, wow. you know, I had uh, HAPA, Fair. I had um, Stars in the 21 HAPA Awards, which is in um, the US, I got nominated alongside, you know, the big, some of the big guys in the industry. Mm-hmm. And a couple of same following, same year, I think two nominations. I think I, I, for the same project, I've gotten close to like six nominations over time. Really? Over time, yes. And you know, this was one project I got DMs like, guy, yeah, if you enter Bini, we go tear you. you no know, tr- people message like uh this is even when I went back to do like the um another season of Blood mm-hmm. of Enoge, uh I had people saying this uh they said this is a true Benin story, it's a fictional story, it's a fiction, but people were like, No, it was too personal. Mm-hmm. Guy, how? How like how you take play this car? It was too real. I mm-hmm. had people that almost spot their TV from watching me. Wow. I got messages like, you may smile for a knock my, my, my shoe for that TV because mm-hmm. as I they see you, they make me vex. They make me like, I was like, okay, all right. Okay. You your time okay. Mm-hmm. So there are four more seasons that Rock Studios is owing you people. You heard it here. Yeah, so, yeah. Please. You heard it. Go, one, tell them season um season nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Rock is still owing us blood of a no gear. Us. 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 So please. So yeah, we've seen season one to eight. Four more seasons to go. Okay. You'll see, we used to give you twisty details. You get it. Now you will not know what you're <laughs> Okay, so um yeah. That aside, mm-hmm. um, what's your current project with um, African Magic? Oh, okay, so I'm um, currently um, doing um, as we used to hashtag AM something, like the the one I concluded last year that's currently airing Masquerades of Anedo. Yes, Masquerade. Masquerade, Masquerades of Anedo, which is uh, showing on African Magic Showcase. Was your friend not in it? Yes, Choco Martins, please um, play the Muna. On, on the story. Well, that day, too, everybody was shouting, Muna, 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 Muna yeah, Muna. I played Muna. I played Ikena on African Magic Masquerades of Anedo. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. Then, currently, I'm doing, I'm shooting a new series with African Magic, yeah, for African Magic. So, yeah. The trailers are out, right? Uh, for Masquerades of Anedo. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, the trailers are out. The trailers are out. Clips, mm-hmm. clips as well are also out. Okay, so don't forget to watch all those movies. He has brought a lot of um, knowledge to us. The least we could do here, okay? all of you, is to go and watch this movie. You understand? It's not everything I'm begging you people. Exactly. Time. Go and watch it and don't miss out. And I've heard that most of it are like the Marcos region. So you do not want to miss it. Then we have something for you. Okay. I, know, I know you already got in a ticket in the studio. But we have something for you. You get you can't come to the GC for for you understand. You get all of you they play, they play, they play, they play for there. Yeah. You understand. GC for all of Fafa. You understand? So we do have something for you just as a token of appreciation. You deserve so much more. But as a token of appreciation, um, 
we always have unique things. This people has unique things. So the gift is a very unique. Thing. I never experienced it. And we know you go to the what's it called to the shoot um, the locations a lot, which sometimes might get boring because away from home. So here we are trying to give you something nostalgia to think about. Yeah, is that yeah yeah yeah. Um, let's take a lot of. Thank you, thank you, Omi. No, it's. I'm emotional. Juicy <laughs> podcast. Juicy podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I received this with lots of love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, we know how to show honor. And we give honor to you. We give it to all. And we also give extra honor to you. Thank you very much. For being here, yeah, it came from far away with our studio. Our studio was far gone, but you made it here. You kept to your word, and I've not actually had a conversation with him until today, which is whatever uh, chemistry that we had on the show. He brought it with him because he's an actor. The entire production today, our whole production today, was a movie, unscripted. Unscripted, you understand? So. Do well to watch it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on all platforms. Please help us beg people to watch it. Please, beautiful people, make sure you see this episode. This episode and other episodes. But you see this one because Justin Ben is in it. I gave raw details, what you will not hear anywhere. In fact, I've not even most of the stories that most of the things I said here, Mm -hmm. I've not said it anywhere. Only my paddies that know this chase. And right. now I'm sharing it with you. So guys, make sure you watch. Okay? Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. I know some of those details were a bit, um, they made you a bit vulnerable and all because they were very personal. But you know what? The JC Paul, we bring all the JC details. You understand? So thank you very much. Thank and you very much. that will be all from our guests. Don't worry, as I already said, for the giveaway, we already gave you go and watch the video. I'm not repeat myself again. Go and watch the video and do justice to it and kind of chance to win amazing prizes from us. And um, if you want to do what they call, yeah, what they call a meet and greet, if that's what you need in your life, meet and greet with our amazing celebrity, <laughs> we can organize that for you guys. And you guys can come physically and have a special with him in this time. So, in the spirit of that, I still remain your own book host. Lola Billion, to get with the billion guys. You know what I mean? If you get them, um, don't forget to share your comments, your thoughts about it. Share it below. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.